<laughs> Let's see your RC car do that. Hello, it's Jim. Today we are going to record and play back actions on Race Car J, the MIT race car. Let's get started. We've built our race car J, and up to this point, we've come up with a good replication of the capabilities of an RC car. Today, that changes. We are going to record and play back actions on the race car itself. I've added the Z camera to the car. So we have the base car and the Z. We haven't installed the LiDAR yet. Let's turn on the car. I've attached the battery. Turn on the game controller. Hit the on button. And let's switch over to the terminal. Let's launch the race car first. Switch over to that directory. In a separate terminal, we'll launch our Z camera. And let's open up another terminal and we'll launch RQT so we can take a look at this. We'll launch an introspection plugin, node graph. Here's all the nodes. Let's zoom in a little bit. Over here is the Z wrapper. You can see that it launches a whole bunch of different topics. The one that we're interested in today is this one here, ZRGB Image Rect Color. Let's do some magic. Let's open up a new terminal. We'll switch over to the race car directory. And let's record a ROS bag. There is a command line tool to do that. Let me get out my little cheat sheet. We are going to say Rossbag record. And this is one of the topics that we're going to record, which is the Ackerman command. And then we are going to record the Z camera, the image rect color. And we are going to store it in a file. Uh, Baggy.bag. Let's rename that. We'll call it racecarj.bag. Before we start this up, let's look at our camera image. Plug in to help us here. Visualization, image view. Let's select our topic. This one here, image rect color. There I am. Okay. So let's light this baby up. on the car a little bit. Slower. Faster. Let's try to replay our bag that we've just recorded. So conceptually what's happening is you have the Ross topics, they're being recorded and put into a collection. The collection's called a bag and there's a timeline associated with that and then you can replay the topics based on the timestamp. So let's do a play. Are we expecting goodness?
there's no good news here. So what's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. One of the issues that we had was that we recorded this Ackerman command topic. When Ross Bag went and replayed it, it just basically dumped it right in here. While at the same time, the game controller was throwing things in through Joy Teleop. Ackerman command is saying, go, go, go. And Joy Teleop was saying, stop, stop, stop. So it got all confused. That's what this Ackerman command mux is supposed to do. You take in the inputs, it arbitrates them, and then it gives you a clean Ackerman command. In fact, if we would stick it in this Ackerman command mux input navigation, it would do the arbitration for us. We had the same issue with the video. The camera is trying to show it in this image view. The bag is trying to throw it into that image view also. And it's like your TV is trying to play two channels at once. So let's clean that up. One of the things that we can do is create a fake image view. Let's do that. We'll need a new package. It's called Ross Kinetic Image View. Let's load that up. Let's run an image view. So we say Ross run image view, image view. And we are going to get the image from a topic called slash video stuff. We haven't published anything to it yet, so not a whole lot to see. And then we're going to run our bag again, but we're going to use some tricks. Let's clear this off. I'll go to my cheat sheet so you don't have to watch me type this. Okay, we say Ross bag play. Now we want to call that race car J dot bag. These next two commands are remapping commands. We are going to take a topic that is within the bag called slash Ackerman command, and we are going to remap it to slash Ackerman command mux input navigation. And we're going to take this topic, which was the Z camera and remap it to video stuff which is what we're displaying here. So let's, let's see what happens this time. Okay, it looks like we have some action going. Fast, slow, fast, slow. Look, Ma, no hands. Let's see your RC car do that. So then ask. Okay, so our bag's almost done playing here. It's done. And I slowly fade away down here. It's very sad. This still isn't quite right in regards to the Ackerman command mux. We take the Ackerman command and then we remap it into the navigation, into the Ackerman command mux, but it's still not being arbitrated by the game controller. We'd like to be able to do that. This is a useful tool for several reasons. One reason is that you can rerun robots actions, so you can have tasks. You can also take the information that's within a ROS bag and use that for deep learning training. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe for even more exciting content like this. Thanks for watching.